One of the important concepts in any programming language is that of functions. A function is an existing set of instructions that serve a specific purpose, much like mathematical functions that you might already be familiar with or use in your classes, such as these. A function is a collection of instructions that performs a specific task. A function is used to represent a task in our program that we want to do repeatedly and often in different programs. Functions allow us to group together the instructions needed to perform a common task into a single unit that can be reused over and over again, simply by writing the name of the function. A function is a collection of instructions that performs a specific task, such as calculating the cosine of a value or adding a series of numbers together. If your students are familiar with visual programming languages, then they would also be familiar with using functions. In an environment like Blockly or Scratch, they would use functions to achieve common tasks, such as moving forward, changing the colour of an object, or changing direction of their sprite. These are represented as blocks in the visual programming languages. These blocks can be included in your program to help achieve your aim, and can be composed with branching and repetition constructs to form complex programs. Programming languages typically provide a wide range of functions that are felt to be useful to programmers. These functions could be specific to a domain, such as the functions we have just described, which are useful for controlling and directing the action of physical sprites in a visual programming environment. These functions might also be quite general and support common goals that would be used across many different kinds of programs, such as a function that helps a programmer print text to a screen, or functions that perform fundamental mathematics. Functions are an example of what we call abstraction. Abstraction is the ability to identify a pattern in our code, perhaps a common task that we perform many times, and to identify a general form of that task that can be used as a template for how to solve a problem. Some easy examples to explore abstraction that you might be able to find in your own classroom include things like tying a bow. Tying a bow is a common task. You can tie a bow in your shoelaces, you can tie a bow in a hair ribbon, or in a ribbon on a gift. We are able to take the process of tying a bow and apply it to a wide range of circumstances. This is because we have developed a process for tying a bow that is abstracted away from the details. It doesn't really matter what we are using to tie the bow, we follow the same instructions. Functions in programming are very similar. We have a common task that we have identified. However, because they are abstractions, they often need to be given extra information to make them do the actual task that we want each time the function is used. Like knowing that we are tying a shoelace. You can specialise what happens when you call the function by providing what we call parameter values. When you call or execute a function, you have to provide it with the information it needs in order to do its specific task, such as the cosine function. It needs to be given the angle for which the cosine value will be calculated. This is the same for any function used in programming languages. For example, a function that is used to create a rectangle in the processing language, which in processing is the rect function, performs the task of drawing a rectangle. But it needs to know how large the rectangle should be and where the rectangle should be drawn. The JavaScript language, for which we've also seen a couple of examples, also uses functions. In a previous example, we saw how we use the document write function to display a message as output from the program. These are all examples of calling or executing functions. When we provide information to a function, we do so by specifying values that are passed to the function when it is called. Kind of like passing someone a message with the information that they need to help them achieve their task. When we do this, we are passing a value as a parameter to the function call.